everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today it is finally one of the two sales that I've been waiting for. I have been waiting for the hand soap sale. Now, a good hand soap sale. And by that, I mean, I would have accepted $3.50 with being able to use a coupon in addition. But this was for Canadians. Three twenty-five hand soaps, and I was able to use a coupon for ten dollars off my purchase of forty, which means the fifteen hand soaps. Yeah, yeah, you heard that right. The fifteen hand soaps that I have purchased each came down to two dollars and fifty-eight cents, or two dollars and fifty-nine cents. Oh my goodness, my mind is blown by that deal. Of course, this happened over the weekend, but I'm just getting this video up for you now because I had stuff that had to go up on certain dates. And I am so excited about this haul because I have finally been able to pick up spring soaps and, and I got my hands on the new summer releases. Again, just the ones that I want because I can't. Although I did buy 15 hand soaps, I still have a bunch of hand soaps already downstairs that could be used in spring and summer. So did I need to buy any of these? No. Did I want to? Oh, yes. I was so excited. So we are going to break it down. I'm going to try to group them by collection and we'll work through all of the soaps. Okay, I think I've broken these guys down by their collection. So let's dive into it. I will be sharing with you guys scent notes and everything. I'm just so excited about all of these soaps. Oh my goodness. Okay. And it was also really nice. The lady I worked with, the cashier up at the counter, as uh, she's recognized me. I've come in, uh, clearly, I've been holding a lot of stuff, you guys. Um, but she recognized me and she even returned my coupon. Like, it was the last coupon for this time frame ending on May 12th. Um, and she gave it back to me, which was so nice. Um, no, obviously not expected because usually you retain the coupon, but... That was really sweet. So it was just a really nice haul and there's so much stuff and at least the store wasn't too busy when I went, which was nice. So enough rambling, let's get into the haul. So what did I pick up? I'm gonna kick us off with the current hyped up scent in terms of their signature line. This is not normally a scent I would buy because it is on the floral side. However, I did haul this in body care and I am enjoying the scent. I haven't used it yet. But I am enjoying the scent. And the packaging, the packaging, you guys, it's so, so pretty. And again, this isn't just me buying everything just because there were scents that I had on my list too by then. And another sniff, I decided, you know what? I have other scents I like better. For example, Calypso Clementine. It is an orange scent. I prefer Kitchen Mandarin. I have Kitchen Mandarin. It is sitting right there. It will be used eventually, but I don't need Calypso Clementine. So I'm gonna start us off with Tropidelic. Mm, so good. Okay, that packaging is stunning. Like that reflectiveness to it. My goodness. Uh, Trapadelic has scent notes of irresistible passion flower, ylang ylang, and misty rainforest. This is for me a spring scent. Might use this one next year. Uh, the thing with my spring scents, I do have the last little bit planned out for this year. Um, so any of the spring specific scents, uh, we'll have to wait. But. Oh, I'm so excited for that one. Of course, I'm excited for all of these, so I should stop saying it. Um, I'm not sure what collection this one came out of, but this is... I did, before going into the store, I contemplated picking up two of these, even though I have not used this before. I just really love this scent, you guys. This is Sweet Apple. It's an apple pear scent. Oh, okay, so this is Fresh Farm Apple Crisp Pear Orchid Skies beautiful spring scent i do think it could work in the fall if i need it to i love love my apple scents so good i also grabbed sunshine and lemons um so this was the only one from this particular collection i picked up kind of a pale yellow i prefer a little bit more of a vibrant yellow we'll see some of that a little bit later on this one is Yuzu Grapefruit and Sun Rays. I have been loving the pocket back version of this. We'll see how I do in the hand soap. Maybe I'll prefer the pocket back. We will see, but I am blowing through that pocket back right now. All right, let's get into their kind of, it's technically a spring collection because it's the Tropics collection, but these are summer recents. Um, but they came out before the Mother's Day collection, so I'm gonna do these first. Um, so we're gonna start off with one I've had before. This is Waikiki Beach Coconut. Love the green. 
This one is Dragon Fruit, Water Bamboo, and Coconut Jasmine. I really did enjoy this one last time. Like, I used this last year as a hand soap. Really enjoyed it. Um, I will be working on the body cream this year. Get it out of the collection. So this should be a nice, I guess a nice green as well. I also picked up, I think this was the last one in the store, you guys. This is Mango Papaya Paradise. It's not as good as I want it to be, unfortunately. But I figured I'd still give it a shot. Succulent Mango, Golden Papaya, and Warm Tropical Breezes. And then from that particular collection, they're the one I am most excited about. This one here in Electric Limeade. I mean, the... Flower has nothing to do with it, but whatever. At least mango papaya had no mango papaya on it. But this one, frozen limeade, strawberry swirl, and sea salt rim. This is going to be so good. So good. I'm so excited about this one. I actually picked up a fair amount from their Mother's Day line. Um, the packaging is just gorgeous. And especially for this first one, the packaging of their Mother's Day line is so so much better than their like all the year line. Partly because this is also see-through packaging and it's purple. I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. Um, now, as I mentioned, like, and you can see fruity things are my jam. That's what I love. But I actually smelled this one in store with my mom. I think it was like last week. And this one took me by surprise. I really enjoyed it for a floral so unusual but guys between the scent and this packaging this is fresh cut lilacs look how stunning that is you guys so so superior to the traditional like all white packaging like at least it has like a lilac on it but like this is stunning Lilac bouquets, dewy greens, soft spring air. Obviously very much a spring scent. I need to smell this one again, you guys. That is so intensely floral. Like it literally smells like you're standing next to like a floral. Like, like obviously. You're standing next to a lilac. But it's like a very intense lilac. Oh, I, again, not my normal. Not my normal. I am currently using up a rose water and ivy right now. But again, just switch it up, have a floral in between all of these fruity things. Just to switch it, make it a little bit different. Oh, so excited about that one. I got three more from the Mother's Day line, you guys. I went a little crazy. The next one, I opted only to go for one pineapple scent, and I liked pineapple Prosecco a little bit more than I liked pink pineapple sunrise. So I opted for this one. And again, look at the, look at the sparkle on there. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wonderful design work, whoever was working on this in their collaboration. The sad notes are sparkling pineapple, bubbly prosecco, and white nectarine. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, this one, I have used up one full bottle in my collection. I did pick up a backup at semi-annual sale, but I, I had to get another one. This is Pink Peach Blossom. I mean, the packaging is okay, but it's it's the scent, you guys. I love this one. This is spring. This is fall. You can use it all over. Send notes on this one. Peach, nectar, magnolia petals, and mandarin. Mmm. Love that one. That one's a great one. I have pink peach blossom right there. That was the packaging I picked up at semi-annual sale. And then this is one that's like, I'm not sure how I'm going to love it as a hand soap. But I still wanted to try it. And my husband, like, when he smells this one, he's like, that name is super authentic to the scent. He also said that about uh, the sweet apple. You guys, of course, this is the hyped up, obsessed over iced lemon pound cake. Look at that, like, purple translucentness. Oh, I love it. The bottle is so cool on this one. Iced lemon pound cake, I feel like because it's a lemon compared to like the strawberry pound cake, this could be like a summer transition into fall. Could also be a bit of a spring scent. I think it's still a little bit heavy for summer, but we'll see. Uh, scent notes on this one, glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy cake. My husband really got the fluffy cake note on this one. 
So we'll give this one a shot. And I also do have strawberry pound cake in a hand soap as well. So we'll see about all the pound cakes. All right, now we're gonna transition into all of the summer soaps. I have two, four, five that I have picked up. Let's dive into them. So we have one from this particular collection, so like the packaging that looked like this. This one is Starfruit Sangria. I really like this contrast of the colors there. This one has scent notes of golden starfruit, kiwi nectar, and chilled sangria. Okay, I really like these alcoholic scents. I don't drink any alcoholic beverages, but they do well in hand soaps. Then I picked up two soaps from their main summer line. Uh, the first one I picked up, this one kind of took me off guard. This was not on my list to pick up, but when I smelt it in store, I was like, yeah, it is a pretty blue. This is Bright Summer Days. This one has scent notes of coconut milk, sunny starfruit. Oh, I guess there's another one with starfruit and warm sands. Beautiful. Love it. Last one from that collection. This was on the list. I was so excited about this. I did see this at semi-annual sale in the like cleansing gel formula and I did think about it. I did think about getting it, but I'm glad I waited. This is Sweet Strawberry Scoop. I mean, the other packaging was nicer, but anyway, uh, sugared pink strawberries and vanilla bean ice cream. You know I love my strawberry scents. Speaking of strawberry scents, let's get into the more cartoony ones. These are the last two hand soaps. I know this is going by fast. Um, normally, I don't really like the packaging of the kind of more cartoony ones, but these scents, these scents, guys. And speaking of strawberry, this is uh, You're the Berry Best. This is Strawberry Banana Smoothie kind of a strange, strange option when you think about it, but a strawberry banana smoothie is delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, crazy. So good. Uh, scent notes, strawberry. Oh, so pff, that's just the name. Scent notes on this one, freshly picked strawberries, creamy bananas, and vanilla bean yogurt. And that creaminess from the banana and the yogurt really does come through with this particular scent. And it's just, it's just so cute. I like it. I like that one quite a lot. And then for my finale of these hand soaps. Oh, I'm excited about this, you guys. This is, again, not my normal, not my normal kind of scent that I would pick up. This is more in the gourmand section of the hand soaps. And this one is Find Joy Everywhere. This is mint chip ice cream. Now, do I like mint chip ice cream? No. No, I'm not a big fan of mint in things except for toothpaste. So this, you guys, the chocolate comes through in this. Mm. Like, the, like the mint and the chocolate both very strongly come through, but it, that, it's just such a nice chocolate note as well. So I'm excited to play with this one. Different color, different scent for me. Scent notes on this one, mint ice cream, chocolate flex, and a dollop of whipped cream. So. It's just the chocolate is what does it for me. Um, and this last year, I wasn't able to get my hands on what was the winter soap. It was the Coconut Mint Drop. Was that the name of it? I wasn't able to get my hands on it. It was already sold out by the time we got to a hand soap sale. So at least I get to try like a mint kind of base soap now. So that I can decide in the future, do I like mint as a scent note? Because in like body care, like body creams. I don't like mint in it. So we'll see how it goes. I'm very excited about this one. So there we go, you guys. 15 new hand soaps being added to my collection. Um, is it ridiculous? Yes. Is it over the top? A little bit. But am I excited and like ready to play with any and all of these? You bet I am.
You bet I am. But they will have to wait because I have hand soaps out right now that I'm working through. I have some in mind that I particularly want to use for end of spring transition to summer, but hopefully we can start playing with some of these very soon. But of course, if you want to see the hand soap empties, make sure you're checking out my monthly empties, or which is all of the beauty related items that I use, including my hygiene items. Or I've got my empties video for my bi-monthly Bath and Body Works empties as well that you can also check out. But those were the 15 hand soaps. If you shot the sale, let me know what you guys picked up because I was waiting for the sale and there were so many things, so many things that I was, oh, I was ready for. But that's gonna complete today's whole video from Bath and Body Works. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.